I was digging through my boxes and I found an original spool of Filament Friday Filament Clear. We no longer sell this, but it's probably the last spool available. But I wanted to see how well it printed, so I printed some clear objects, this Christmas tree, and I built some electronics to go with it. It's a bunch of LEDs flashing, although you can't see it in the bright lights. I'll explain it all on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. This video is also sponsored by PCBWay.com. I was digging through some boxes and found this Filament Friday clear filament, so I had to print something. And I already had this Christmas tree project that I bought on Amazon. I did a search on Things.com for a Christmas tree, and I found this one from PrintBit that was linked in from Thingiverse. I brought the solid version into Cura, and I decided to use my version 5.1 extra fast 0.28, but I made a custom Christmas tree version with one wall and three top layers and zero bottom layers. And then I also made it 0% infill. And since there was no bottom layers and single wall, I used a brim to hold this to the bed. It said it would take one hour and 30 minutes. When I looked at it in preview, it looked really good. And I noticed there were some little extra features that will end up making things look like snow. Now some may say, why didn't I use spiralized mode? Well, I did try it. And when I sliced it, it was actually a slightly longer print. And I was getting these strings across because this model had something about it that Spiral didn't like. I decided to try it and Kira wasn't wrong. There was definitely stringing going on. So I re-sliced it and then I was getting a glitch that was creating all kinds of stringing. I also noticed the top of the ornaments were hollow and I didn't want that. So I gave up on Spiral mode. Back to the profile that I did use, I had three top layers which produced this effect on the print. It basically filled in the ornaments and it also at the top, just underneath the star, did the same thing, filled it in. And that effect, when printed, looks like snow. When you look on the bulbs, they got like a roughness and up by the star, it looks like snow had fallen on this tree. I started printing the Christmas tree and then I opened up the electronics kit and there's several circuit boards that I got to solder together. And speaking of circuit boards, PCBWay.com is a great place to get circuit boards. You can get 10 pieces for only $5. You can even get low volume assembly services if you need it. They've also got CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. And you can get an instant quote. Just enter all the details for your board, upload the Gerber files, and you'll get a quote including shipping. So check out PCBWay.com. The resistors in this kit came with the five color band method, but you know what? I find it easier just to measure them and then mark the paper what value they are. It makes it easier to assemble. Some resistor values were marked on the boards, but others were not, so I had to refer to the user manual. The user manual is really small print, so I took a picture of it with my phone and zoomed in so I could actually read it. I inserted each resistor one by one, bent the lead so they'd stay in place, and marking those resistors made it so much easier. I soldered them all in place and then clipped off the excess leads. The transistors were next. There's three holes you got to get in, and here's a little trick. Cut them on an angle. That way you can insert one, pull it over, insert the middle one, pull it over further, and get the third one. It's a lot easier. I soldered all the transistors, cut the leads, and bent them over as the instructions showed. Capacitors at the bottom were next. Make sure the long lead goes into the positive hole. Solder those up, clip them. And this board's done. You just have to do it again. Checked on the 3D print and it was come along really good. I got both boards done. Now it's time to install the LEDs. Now the manual shows different color LEDs, but what's included are a bunch of clear LEDs. So I got a little coin cell and tested them. And they all were like this, multi-color changing LEDs with a chip inside. So it didn't matter which slot they went into, I just had to make sure I had the right polarity. The long lead went into the square pad. And then I soldered them from the top. It made it easier. The base was next. It was pretty easy, just a couple components and then the battery box. I actually double-sided taped it down because the screws didn't hold it very well. Now I need to assemble the two Christmas tree halves together and then slide it into the base. Once that was in place, I just needed to solder these connections at the bottom and there is also a connection in the middle to help hold this together. The 3D print was coming along, but I wanted to finish the electronics before it finished, so the race was on and I beat it. Installed three AA batteries, hit the switch, and it worked the first time. The 3D print finished, and now I can bring these two together. I lit up the Christmas tree, dropped the 3D print on top, 
and this thing looks really good. It's even better in the dark. So I love the way this turned out. That was fun, and it works with any clear filament or any transparent filament that allows the LEDs to shine through. I'll put a link to the .3MF file for the settings that I use so you can download it and recreate this project. This will probably be the last video for 2022. I'll see you in 2023. Thank you to all the sponsors, Patreon supporters, and all my subscribers. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays.